All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about dwarf fig varieties and maybe why having a dwarf fig variety might be important to you or not so important to you. We're also gonna talk about different varieties of dwarf fig varieties, like this one right next to me called Little Ruby. And then finally, we're gonna talk about one trick to actually keep your fig tree small, regardless if it is a dwarf or not. And I would also highly recommend that you guys check out my blog, figboss.com. There's a companion guide that I wrote to this video that you can find online that has so much detailed information about this topic. Let's start off actually with the different varieties of dwarf figs, like this one here called Little Ruby. And Little Ruby is actually a seedling of Hardy Chicago that I'm finding to be a really nice fig variety for just about anyone in a humid, short season, or colder place. Now, if you want a tree actually that doesn't really require any pruning whatsoever, this would also be under that category. And it's amazing now that this little ruby, it's now in its fourth, maybe even fifth season, I think, that this tree is only roughly two and a half, not even three feet tall. To me, that's incredible. Um, this tree loves to grow outwards, I find more than upwards. And that is a really nice characteristic for reaching for the sunlight, maximizing the photosynthesis in a particular area. And I just find that it is a really productive fig because of that. One bonus is, I guess, it doesn't really need any pruning. But is that really that important? Um, do we really need a fig variety that doesn't need to be pruned? Well, that depends. Because if you look at the tree behind me, or I should say behind the Little Ruby, is a variety called Rondé Bordeaux. And Rondé Bordeaux is a French fig that I would argue is definitely not a dwarf. It's almost three times the size, actually, as that Little Ruby. And this tree was planted, or has survived the winter, a couple years less. So believe it or not, this one's been in the ground for a longer period of time, and this Ronde Bordeaux is still three times the size. So do we really need, though, a dwarf fig variety? Can I actually maintain this tree to the height that it is, or roughly the size it is now? And the answer is yes. It's rather simple, and we described this actually in the article, but what we want to do is come in here to the center of the tree, all the way down at the base, and we're going to come in there with our saw, or our loppers, and we're gonna cut out a number of the trunks. And you're gonna do this roughly every year, or every other year, where you're gonna kind of do this recycling process, where we're gonna recycle the wood down there at the base, which is gonna remove an entire system of branch. If I remove, let's say, the one closest to us, that's gonna remove this whole section here that I'm shaking. And so instead of, rather than coming here with my pruning shears and just drawing a line in the sand and just cutting it at a certain height, that would be the opposite of what we wanted to do. Because if I come in here with pruning shears and really do the detailed cuts and really just make a line across the sand with it, some people use a chainsaw, people really have no idea what they're doing when they're pruning. And if I did that with it to a fig tree, the tree would respond the following year by growing even taller than it was. We have to keep what's called the apical and lateral buds intact. And so if we can keep these higher points, these higher buds on the branches, that's gonna keep our tree in hormonal balance. Whether that's through pruning or whether that's through the winter damage that our trees may take in zone sevens and fives and sixes, we wanna make sure we're preserving all of this wood and all these buds, because that's gonna encourage our tree next year to fruit rather than grow crazy. And there's that balance that has to be in order for every fig tree to produce high quality fruit and to consistently produce high quality fruit. So that's one piece of advice there. If we wanted to keep it small, I would come in here into the middle and actually remove this whole branch down here, which would remove all of this. And that way something new from the base would come up and take its place. And you're just constantly recycling by removing some large system of branch down there at the base, you're keeping your tree in hormonal balance, but you're also encouraging it to keep up with this recycling process and you'll keep it small. So that's the biggest tip, I think. 
Some other varieties, by the way, that are dwarf that I've found over the years are, of course, Little Ruby that we looked at. There's also Neruccio de Elba, which is an Italian fig that is quite dwarf, that grows rather slowly and has thinner wood, closer node spacing. That's one of the telltale signs, by the way, of what is a dwarf fig. Really close node spacing. The leaves are very close together. The fruits are very close together. There's another variety called Verdino del Nord from Vladimir Rocco. It's another one of my favorites, another uh, Italian heirloom fig. And then there's, of course, uh, another variety that's new called Fig Nominal that's supposed to be a mutation of Hardy Chicago, whereas Little Ruby actually is a seedling of Hardy Chicago, uh, but a branch mutated on a Hardy Chicago tree and became dwarf. Um, so those are your options. Personally, I don't think you really need a dwarf fig tree. This Little Ruby I find is nice for other reasons, like um, it's short hang time, the figs taste fantastic, and to me, it's extremely cold hardy and is a great performer here in my climate. What's nice is I can net it easily. So that's something to consider. But once you know how to prune your fig trees properly, you don't really need a dwarf fig tree for that purpose. I would, I would get them for other reasons. And Little Ruby, Verdino del Nord, and Aruccello de Elba are great figs in their own right. But if I had the choice, I actually probably wouldn't want them to be dwarf. I'd want them to be a larger tree to produce more fruit. So there you go, guys. That's the video. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the blog. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.